Hello friends, we back for another anime OP reaction. So today we're going to be checking out Kuroko no Basuke or something like this. Opening and ending uh, songs. So I guess it's a basketball anime. This is going to be our second basketball anime uh, OP reaction. So for those who don't know, I did uh, Slam Dunk. A very popular one of the most popular animes during the 90s like it was it was up there at least like from my uh society right like the people in my school were like yeah have you watched slam dunk all that shit so if you if you know anything about me i'm not too into slice of life shows so cooking animes anything that is sports related not really my jam so i'm not sure <laughs> how much you know i can contribute to this reaction because it's you know it's it's just basketball like you can only do so much right um but i will say 20 minute video for a basketball anime this show has got to be really popular right i don't think you can go how you know like for how many seasons this show has been on i don't think you can go that long with just basketball right you you're gonna need really good characters um good storylines right like the characters needs to be really likable uh for it to perform because if it's just competition and all that i don't think you can sell it for you know three four five seasons or what uh without further ado let's check out the first one can do okay so this is the main character Okay, okay. Oh, that was cool, the whole eye thing. Can do it, can do it. Okay, okay. So that was the first OP. Um, the intro was was, you know, you have like the guitar riff that bow 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 bow. At like the first half of the OP, it kind of sounded like a Yu-Gi-Oh opening. There were some elements of Yu-Gi-Oh there that I, I was sensing like, hmm, it sounds similar to that. You have like the, the English lines that we like, the whole you can do it. There were some bits and pieces in the chorus that was kind of catchy, but it didn't really stand out enough. Um, so this is going to be one of those things that you need to watch a few more times to like, get hooked on it right uh but but i think it does have those elements overall a solid opening right i would say this was a good one even though you know the song wise the song was pretty good visuals you know it's hard to like break down visuals for like a sports um show because like it, there's not really much we can point to right from from a blind uh, point of view where we see people they look at each other you know 
they play basketball, they pass, they shoot. Like, there's not really much you can point into, like, storytelling-wise, right? So, ending one. So this is our boys. I do like how everyone has different colored hair. I, I'm particularly interested with a guy with glasses. Dude, he is rapping. Interesting. Okay. So, ending one. There were some bits and pieces there. Um, very non-standard ending. It was upbeat. Right? Uh, aside from that, we see like just still frame images of the characters. Now, that is very common. There was a rap breakdown there, which was pretty tasty. Right? Uh, you know, it's it's hard to say because you know, of course, you don't speak the language, so you're you're. You, I just noticed that. Wait, there's a lot of syllables happening right now, so like, yeah, I guess he was rapping, right? Um, aside from that, not really much. It was sorta catchy, but not, not you know, not over the top, right? Yeah, average. It's. It was a bit average. Maybe we'll say a, a, a bit above average just because of the rap breakdown. So this opening to Rim Fire. Okay, so what's up with the girls? Are they like just fan girls? Cheerleaders, maybe. All right, all right. Okay, that was nice. Production IG, I guess that's the studio. Opening two. Opening two was definitely more on the generic side. We had like a good transition there, with like the 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 guy in blue just standing there and someone passes by and he's already like making his move. So we had some good transitions there. Um, yeah, like this is what I was saying uh, before we started. Like, there's not really much we can point to because you know. They're just playing basketball, right? So, ending two. Catal rhythm. Yo, is that Betty Boop? Yo. 
I think there was a lot of, you know, Easter eggs there in the graffiti. <laughs> so the guy in with green hair is like the neat freak, I guess. He's the he's the Tenya Ida of the crew. Okay, um, ending to, man, it's kind of hard to say. I think the song was good. Uh, the song was probably better than opening to. But the thing is, it's one of those songs that could pass for an opening, which is a good thing to have, but it doesn't really match the visuals we got. So our visuals was, you know, uh, like on the mellow side. So although there were like good individual parts, it didn't really uh, come together um, as as good as they'd like, I guess. So that was, you know, that was that was okay. Definitely not bad. Uh, it just could have been better. Maybe you could have done more with like the visuals there or picked a more chill song right because the song kind of went hard grand rodeo we saw these guys before Okay, it looks like we get a new coach, right? This redhead. And the guys are like, yeah, you know, interactions with the coach. It actually got a bit weak. Okay, okay. Three might be the best. Opening three might be the best. It had like the the make me higher. And there was another there was another English line there that made me go, ooh, but you know, I forgot. I already forgot about it. Yeah, yeah. And the bit and the visuals are kinda better than the rest too. We also see some actual uh actual story development right we see the new coach come in so you know we're kind of seeing something going on at least it's not just basketball season we play this team next opening we play the next school or you know the next team in the bracket so we actually get like uh like a training uh montage right they were training with the new coach and all that making up the team synergy and all so yeah that was probably probably my favorite one probably ending three
Wait. Okay, ending three, definitely more on the generic side. I will say they keep doing this. They keep having this upbeat um, music while having really uh, bland uh, visuals. So there's definitely a disconnect there. Uh, and the song was uh, definitely more on the generic side, right? The one thing that made me go ooh there was I think I saw the guy the guy with glasses from our 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 squad, right? It looked like he went to a different team. Is that what happened? Leave it in the comments, guys. But yeah. If that did, I am so impressed I was I was able to pick up on that. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, opening four. Grand Rodeo again. Damn. They're doing everything here. Mm hmm. Oh, I also noticed blue hair, blue eyes, and the other guy was like red hair, red eyes. Yeah, see? He was in a different team. And I guess that guy too, right? They all got... Uh, there was like a draft, right? Is that what happened? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, there's a rivalry going on. Whoa! The Winter Cup. Okay. Alright. Opening for... Things are getting repetitive. Right, we're seeing a lot of the same stuff. A lot of look at these characters, they're playing basketball, which is fair, right? This is what we expected. So, unsurprising. Song was kinda generic. Visuals are getting generic, so yeah. And it looks like we got the draft. Right? Our 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 boys are on different teams now. <laughs> it would be funny if I was totally wrong about that. <laughs> like what am I watching, right? But I think I called it. Right? The guy with yellow hair, the guy with green hair, they're not in the team anymore. Oh, they have... Okay, okay. This is like... This is like their big competition. Mm. 
Okay. Uh, ending four. We're getting a lot of non-standard endings, right? Endings tend to be very uh, mellow song with nothing happening with the visuals. Like it's it's basically you know uh, a time to relax. You know you got hype for the episode. Now you're watching a chill ending to just you know relax yourself, think about what you just saw, right? Uh, reflect. But these endings have been all upbeat. Um, I did like the the song for this one. That was pretty good. The the visuals were kind of... There was something there, I guess. There was something there. The thing is, it somewhat, it somehow bothers me that we're not getting any traditional ending. Uh, everything has been really upbeat. Everything has been... You know, they're adding some storytelling there, which normally endings have zero so storytelling. There's usually just, you know, the girls of the anime are just, you know, doing their own shit, playing games, cooking, you know, whatever. But yeah, these are these are very unstandard uh, endings. Opening five. Yep. Grand Road. I guess Grand Rodeo is doing everything, right? Uh huh. I guess this is still like the Winter's Cup, right? Okay, opening five. They did something. They did something different there. Uh, they had like the na 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 at the end, which is something easy to include in openings, but really effective, right? You don't need to overcomplicate the openings. You can just put like generic na 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 or some oos, some ahs, and it it just puts a lot of flavor in the opening the thing is it's it's getting it's so repetitive like honestly i remember when i reacted to a ruby volume 8 soundtrack a lot of the themes for that show was about uh just darkness right depression death loss mistrust all all negative emotions and it was a struggle for the the singer right or and the composers to like write songs about the same thing right they tell you we need you to write songs about these themes like eight songs and you're like how do i write songs like this without it sounding the same without you know it's so hard to do like you can do like one two three fairly easily four five is gonna be a bit challenging and then six to eight is like almost impossible right you're gonna you're gonna be inclined to use similar stuff and you're trying not to do that and that's kind of what we're seeing here right there's only so much you can do with basketball right they're probably talking about the same thing. Like, of course, we don't have subtitles, but they're probably talking about, you know, like, shoot the ball, you know, go hard, you know, 
teamwork you know it's it's gonna be all around that same gist right ending five glitter days ha huh. oh okay I was like, who's the kid? I can just tell this this video is going to be so long with me talking so much. Maybe I should talk less. Okay, opening six. Um, yeah, that was really generic. We we are getting there, boys. We are getting. It's 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 all sounding the same. It's all looking the same. Oh, another non-standard ending. Okay, so the squad is back together. Or was this a flashback? Wasn't that supposed to be ending six? Or was that another opening? Okay, ending six might be our first standard ending. Um there was a part there where it looked like the team was back together, right? It looked like maybe it's an all-star game, right? So like, yeah, we'll get all these boys back together to compete with the different schools, something like that. Uh aside from that. Uh, yeah, it was fairly generic. Okay, now this is nice.
Okay, ending six. Ending six was probably my favorite ending. They finally did a more st- ending structured ending. <laughs> so they started with the mellow stuff. They showed characters as well as like some scenes from the show, which is a really nice touch. Uh, something we haven't seen um, from the other endings. And the thing you notice there is they tried to do an actual ending this time. The the first few endings, it sounded like they were trying to do an opening as an ending. And it just didn't hit, right? It just fell short. It's very hard to do an opening or an ending that could pass as an opening. There, There's a few examples there. I think... Uh, I think Overlord had some, right? Um, Hunter Hunter had a lot. <laughs> Almost all endings of Hunter Hunter could pass for an opening. Um, so yeah, that's that's that. Opening seven. No surprise, Grand Rodeo. Yo, are these like new characters? I don't think we've seen these guys before. Is that a girl? Okay, okay. Dude. <laughs> Opening uh, 7, they tried to make it look like there was something there. Like in the ending, right? The guy was like, you know, in position to do something. And 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 we know, like, guys, this is just basketball. <laughs> There's nothing happening here, right? There's no finishing move or, you know, shit like that. I will say, that's probably one of the better songs we got. And it's, like, a lot of these that I say are generic may as maybe grow on new songs, right? Like a good chunk, but I, I will say a good chunk of them are generic. I, I think even if I listen to them like 10, 20 times, I'm still going to think it's, you know, whatever. But there were a few of those that, you know, if you listen to them enough, you can like, okay, this is good enough. We can we can add this to the playlist, right? I want to hear this moving forward. Um, Ending 7, it looks like this is going to be the last one. So, you know. Enjoy. What is that? I'm hearing like a very, like a very high pitch sound. I don't know what that is. Is that a flute?
okay that's the that's the last ending um how do you say this i didn't i didn't really like this this last ending it was so bizarre they they're still doing it right they're doing the the high the the upbeat rock um music with very mellow visuals so there's just a there's just a big disconnect there interestingly enough this show had let's say seven endings and they only had one standard ending and i'm i'm taking standard very loosely there of course because it did get upbeat around the end but that that would have probably been my uh probably my favorite um uh, was that ending and then i think opening three was my favorite all in all it's really hard for me to like give a score for this session just because it's basketball guys there's not really much to like pick off you know there could be things here that the studio thinks it's fire to add in the opening that just goes over my head uh just because of the format right so from a from a blind reaction point of view this is very average this is very average very repetitive songs very non-standard endings that tried to be an opening but failed right so i'd give it a five i'd give it a five but that's just my opinion right I'm sure if I watched the show, if I had more context, I would change my mind. If I listened to some of the songs a little more, I would change my mind, right? But just from this format alone, I can't really I can't really give it more than a five. So a five it's gonna be. If you guys like the content, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to support your boy even more, links to Patreon down in the description. And put some besos in the comments, guys. Because you know your boy needs a little. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.